Yo yeah, guys, how y'all doing today? It's me, it's Money Man of 75 I'm back for another video, I'm back for another reaction video. I'm going to be talking about the Rangers game that happened on Friday night, giving my thoughts and reaction to the game. Uh, let's see how it goes, let's get right in a bit of it. So guys, as I said at the start of the video there, I'm going to be giving my reaction to the... The Rangers game there from Friday night. Uh, first off, as well, before I start getting really into my ranting and raving as it were, if I can ask you to please like and subscribe to the channel, that would be absolutely amazing. It's Money Minute 75. If you could do that for me, I'd love you a long time. <laughs> but anyway, getting back into Friday night's game. Obviously, Friday night's game ended 3 0 to Rangers. I'm not going to lie, it could have been more, could have been worse, I think we were really lucky to actually only walk away with a 3-0 defeat, and the fact that I'm saying that, and I'm saying that out loud, is pretty sad to be honest, we did not start the game well, you know, 2-0 down within the first 10 minutes, um, I think we had a spell at the start of the second half, probably about maybe 10 10 minutes in at the second half, we were looked as though, you know, we could maybe do something. But as soon as, I mean, the third goal just typified the night that Hibs had had. We paid Rangers far, far, far too much respect. We done the same thing in the game against, uh, the same against them uh, at Ibrox, where we got beat 6-1. Six, six and we've just followed it on, in my opinion. You know, we paid them far too much respect, giving them far too much space off the ball. We were allowing them to dictate play. Every goal had an individual error attached to it. Uh, in my opinion, obviously, Rocky was completely at fault for the first goal. I don't think there's any real arguments there. And listen, I love Rocky. I think he is genuinely one of the one of the better goalkeepers we've had for a long time. But I'm going to be honest and I'm going to be brutal here. I don't actually know if his heart is with Hibs. There's just something that's telling me he's angling for a move away. I think Hecky obviously had a lot to deal with that. Uh, he had a lot to do with that, with the fact that he dropped him, brought in Chris Maxwell. Um, and to me, I just, I, I think his eyes have been turned uh, to other teams, to be honest. You know, I know that there was a, there was a rumour going around that he wasn't, he wasn't in goals at Hibs for a long time because if he'd had one more appearance, we would have had to have paid his last club, uh, a fee. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Um, but, I mean, to me, you know, I think his head's been turned, to be honest. Uh, as I say, he was completely at fault for the first goal. I've no qualms about that. The second goal was a mixture of all things. Again, paying them far too much respect. Men getting drawn to the ball rather than looking at the runs. Um... I mean, great finish by that Aribo, it has to be said. Um, and the third goal was just, again, it was a nightmare. It was a complete and total nightmare. It was shameful. Um, now, I'm going to talk about this as well. Whether or not I'm right in saying this or not, I'll leave it open to the floor. I've watched this replay, I don't know how many times. My opinion and my attitude still has not changed. I don't think... Ryan Portier should have been sent off. I think, yes, it was a hard challenge. There's no getting away for that. But he's won the ball first. His studs were down. The fact of the matter is the referee actually signalled for a throw-in first. The only way that he got sent off was the fact that everybody ran to him. Now, again, with the standard the Scottish referee in, you could argue maybe the referee just didn't know what to do with that. Maybe again, I mean, I don't know. But I just, as I say, I've watched it. I've watched it three or four times. And I just, I still don't think it was a sending off. Sam Cosgrove got sent off in the Celtic game for something very similar. I don't think that was a sending off either. So, I mean, it is what it is. I don't think it would have made a great deal of difference. Hibs were always going to lose that game. They were always going to lose that game comfortably as well 
with the way that we'd set up and with the way that we approached the game, it was always going to happen. Um, Rangers, I have to say, in fairness to them, and it is in fairness to them, you know, we couldn't live with them. We couldn't live with them. They were they were on it for the first minute. Um, I've heard a lot of Hibs fans arguing, and in a way or two, okay, I can understand the point saying that Rangers didn't have to play well to beat us. We, you know, we made them look good. And in one way or another, I can understand that point of view. But simple, simply, in my opinion, yes, you can have a team who's backing off you, backing off you. You still have to have the quality there to shine through and to put the chances away in front of you. And Rangers done that, you know. And, and you know that hurts me to say, but I can't take it away for them. They were they were the better side. There's no getting away for that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm going to speak about something else now in in terms of obviously the, the way that the fans were behaving, glass bottles getting thrown on at the pitch. Um, people going fighting. It's not what you want to see coming up to 2020. I'm sorry, and I am going to mention this as well because I think it's very obvious that it was it was happening. You know, there was a lot of sectarian singing there on um, on Friday night. People singing about Bobby Sands and things like that. And I mean, listen, I don't pretend to know everything in terms of um, the whole history that goes with both old firm clubs. I don't really pay attention to it. I'm a hub supporter. It has nothing to do with me. I, in a lot of ways, kind of understand some things. And I think the way that there was, I don't, the way that we were going on about Bobby Sands, I don't know, maybe that's something I don't know. I know that a lot of Hibs fans weren't happy at the fact that there was loads of red hand Ulster flags there, which I know are not permitted in, in British football grounds. Um, you know, to me, that's I mean that's my knowledge yet. I, the understanding I have is that the red hand Ulster flags are not allowed to be in, in football grounds. I could be wrong. By all means, if I'm wrong, I hold my hands up. But I, I, I don't think that I am. I don't know if I am. Um, but to be honest, I mean, there, there was a lot going on on Friday night for, for both sets of supporters again. And it was just, to be honest, it was really disappointing to see. It was really disappointing to see it from a Hibs point of view, again, having bottles thrown onto the pitch. How these guys go into the ground in the first place with glass bottles is beyond me. But to then take that glass bottle and throw it at another human, regardless whether they played for Rangers or not, it doesn't matter, I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. It's a game. And you're throwing that glass bottle towards somebody with the sole intention of hurting them. To me, it's not the way a supporter should act. It's not the way that it should be done. I'm not denying that it does happen, unfortunately. It's happening a lot more regularly these days is what it seems to be for a long time. I mean, look at the, the, the Chelsea and Tottenham game today. Again, racism seems to be at the, the, the forefront of the English game. We have it up here we, with the whole thing with sectarianism and they have it doing there with racism. I mean, what's happening to football? Are we gone back to the dark ages? You know, I mean, what are we going to do? How is this problem going to get curved in, in British football? You know, I just, I, I don't understand. I, I, I've said it for a long time as well. I don't understand someone's thinking where you finished your work you go along to a football match on a weekend or a weeknight, you finish your work, you go along to the match, and you're, I'm not saying your sole intention is to hurt somebody, but it's there to go along and hurt another person. I don't understand that. I don't understand somebody's reasons to go along and calling somebody a disgusting name or making disgusting sounds at a, at, at a person. I know at the end of the day, you know, people will always have opinions on everything. That's unfortunately one of the, the, the major downfalls of the world. Everybody's got an opinion. And while we're all kind of we're all fighting about it, others who are probably at the forefront of these problems are happy that they're not in the limelight, if you know what I mean. Um but I I, I just I don't get it. I don't understand 
why you would go along to do that. This football, it's a sport, it's a game. Yes, we, we passionately love our teams. We passionately love our, our cities, our teams, our countries. We love them because, it, in a lot of ways, you can identify with them. I love being a Hibs supporter because, to me, it's all about community. You know what I mean? Hibs are, Hibs are a community club. And I love that aspect of being a Hibs supporter, the fact that you can help each other out. I love the fact that, in a lot of ways, that Hibs are a big family. Yeah, families argue, families fight, but you're all there for each other in the end. And I think that attitude with a lot of football clubs is going to have the same, the same truth to a lot of fans, you know, they're all for each other. And I understand, didn't get me wrong, when it comes to Friday, like, for example, Friday night, I was up for the game. I was up for the game. I make no bones at the fact that I severely dislike Rangers Football Club. I severely dislike Hearts. That's because of the way that the rivalry that I was brought up with. But as much as it's a rivalry, I would never go to a football match with the sole intention of hurting another supporter because they're wearing a different colour for me. I didn't get it. Do you know what I mean? It, just as I say, I mean, obviously, I know Rangers fans who, who say the same thing about Celtic. You know, they, they hate each other uh, and that's fine. You know, you can have a rivalry there with it turning to such extremes. That is, again, my opinion. I think you can have a, a, a football rivalry there that can sit there, you know, you can sit there and say to people, well, no, I don't like you because of who you support. But that lasts for that 90 minutes. After the 90 minutes is over, go your separate ways. That's what I do. You know, as soon as the match is over, that's it. I come home, I cool down, I make a video about that. It's the way that I've always, the way that I've always been. You know, you come home, you cool down, you watch the highlights again, you see how you go through there. That to me is just what you do. But as I say, with this, for people going out with the sole intention of hurting somebody or calling somebody a disgusting name, I just I didn't understand that. I think action must be taken. Um. And this is, again, this is just a football thing. It's not Scottish football thing. It's not Hibs. It's not Rangers. It's a, it's, a, it's a societal thing as well. You know, we need to get out of this area that we're in now. That The fact that, as I say, we're, we seem to be 20, 30 years in the past where this was probably acceptable. Or not acceptable, but was not as... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not acceptable, but it was probably not as looked down upon as what it is today, if you know what I mean. Like, for example, I watched a clip today. I was on Twitter doing what I, you know, doing what I do. And I seen a clip of um, the Hearts team back in 98 when they won the World, uh, when they won the World Cup. Shops, they were, when they won the Scottish Cup, coming back through to Edinburgh. And they were slagging that uh, Kutongo, saying that he's a wee... I don't even think I'd even want to say it on camera. Um, but basically gave him a racial slur. And in the video, that Kutongo is actually laughing like it's again, it's part it's part of the, the banter. But you know, you see that in today's game, it just shouldn't go. And I personally don't understand why in that moment it was kind of laughed at, if you know what I mean, especially by him, but that's my opinion. Um and just as I say, I think that the way that football is going now, not even so much the way football is, but the way we as a society, and when I say a society, I don't just mean Scotland, I mean Britain, especially down south, you know, this just seems to be happening so much, it's so often now, and it's quite concerning. And I do believe that it's a societal thing that needs change um, before the game does, and, you know, maybe we'll see that hopefully improve soon but I mean yeah I'm going to stop ranting and raving because I feel like I'm going to go I'm going off track now uh obviously guys I'm going to be doing a video on uh, Boxing Day for the Derby um please tune in for that um and uh, yeah the last thing for me is I just want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas uh I hope the big guy is good to you when uh, when he comes to see you
and I hope that uh, you all have a great day. Thank for the heart supporters. I hope your turkeys get burnt and your tatties get tough and your everything like that. I hope you all have a horrible day. No, I'm only kidding. Genuinely. Um, no, genuinely. Have a wonderful Christmas, guys. And I'll see you on the flip side. And uh, I'll see you on Thursday for the game against Hearts. See you bye. <laughs>